today I'm here with Caroline Shields and we are making scrambled eggs. So, to begin for making scrambled eggs, you're going to need to get your eggs, obviously. And I recommend getting large brown eggs, because brown eggs are better than white eggs. You're also going to need a bowl, but we prefer a glass bowl, but we only have a plastic bowl, so we're working with it. And also with the bowl, you're going to need a trash can to throw the eggshells in after you crack them. You're also going to need a whisk to, <laughs> to whisk the eggs. This whisk is a little odd, but my it favorite one. Favorite. It's what makes the eggs the best. And you're also going to need some sort of like spatula. I like this type because the eggs don't stick to it when you're working around the edges making them, as you will see. Also going to need milk to mix into the eggs. And we're making cheesy scrambled eggs, so we're going to need some cheese, which I got from the fruit center. Very nice store. 1% low fat milk, specifically. And then there's plates of forks. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So to start off, you get your non-stick spray, olive oil, and then you spray it on the pan, like so. So otherwise, all the egg will get stuck on it, and it will not turn out pretty. And then, obviously, turn the stove on. You're going to want to heat it up, like, not all the way, but, like, halfway, so the pan gets hot. So after you're done scrambling the egg, you can just put them right on. Okay. So, to start, we'll take our first egg. If we're using a plastic <laughs> bowl, I recommend using the counter for <laughs> eggs. I got it, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> so, then, you take your 1% low-fat milk, and there's not, like, a certain amount that I recommend dumping in, but don't do too much or too little. It's just... I think so. I think right. a little bit more, more milk in there. You could probably count to five while you're pouring it, and you can it. And then you scramble. You're gonna take your whisk and with your weird looking whisk. It all. You don't have it's a nice like whisk. whisk. It's made to make scrambled <laughs> ice. A fork works. Glad my nails look good for this video. Kind of more difficult. You just whisk until you wait until it looks like a homogeneous mixture. All one thing. Using my cum terms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Then scramble. Then the plate, pan, pan should be ready by then. So you have to get the cheese ready. Yeah, you have to get the cheese ready because right when you put the egg in, you gotta put the cheese on. It's gotta mix it. You don't melt it on top. So. And you're just going to place the cheese on, depending on the amount of eggs that you use. Um, you want, so we used about four eggs, you're going to want to use like, what, two pieces of cheese? Two or three, I, I think, I think like two and a half, so that's like one and a half, so, you know, like another piece. <laughs> okay. And then, as you're going, you're just going to want to scrape around the edges, just evenly distribute the cheese as you're stirring. And you just keep going around, and eventually it'll just bunch up on its own, giving it that scrambled look. <laughs> they take a minute to cook, but in general, they're pretty speedy. They're good if you're in a rush. You just have to wait. It's kind of tricky telling the difference between the um the raw egg and the cheese, but. Just gotta kind of figure it out. What? And it's really important to keep moving it around because otherwise the eggs will burn. It's not that bad. It's just a little brown. That means it's cooked. So you just you just gotta keep moving them. Make sure all parts of it because you don't want the raw part of the scrambled eggs to be on the top, you get sick, and it's just, you gotta keep moving them. But, at about now, they should be good. And they're yeah, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> you find some nice, 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 n
Thanks. Oh my god, did I stick your finger with that? I definitely did. I am so sorry. That's the worst. Oh, it's so burnt. Here, I always give you the burnt pieces. Yeah, you always do. So burnt. Oh, man, I it's pretty good. Thanks for the, uh, definitely not as cheesy. Yeah, definitely not as cheesy. But we didn't they're a little more well cheese. done. But it's still really good. And the ketchup, ketchup, ketchup definitely makes it a 9 out of 10. I love ketchup.